Hello everyone. Today we're going to make a book out of all of the little components that we had done a couple of weeks ago and in the live. If you weren't uh, there for the live, you'll want to check out the, uh, the video on how I made this type of paper, this lace paper, and how I decorated basically prepared this, painted this first. So let me give you the, the dimensions in case you missed the live. What I have here is a piece of 5x7 watercolor paper and I painted it and put a little glycerin on it to see if it would soften and it did. And it feels a little kind of sticky but you don't need to do that. Just a piece of watercolor paper. I also have a bunch of uh, 5x7 pieces of uh, sulfite paper that was watercolored and I fold them all in half. And then I also took some paper that I had, um, some papers that, like washi papers that I decorated. And this is my signature, this will be my text block or signature, single signature, gonna be really simple. You'll need your, your pages. And I have put them together. I also trimmed the excess part that comes out and I folded them in half. And all this is gonna fit inside this cover. And you just want to make sure everything fits pretty snug. And if there's a little extra sticking out, that's okay. If you don't like that, you can always trim it. I also have a an awl and I have a needle and some waxed linen. You can use any kind of thread. I'm also using for the closure, I've got these little magnets, a little focal point, and a little piece that I had prepared ahead of time for the closure. And the way that closure works, just so you can see, it's a little magnet that I've placed on top and one here and what it does it closes it, which I think is really, really handy because these can get a little, you know, they kind of open up and they don't lay flat. So I'm going to help you uh, finish this book. So what we're going to do is we fold, like I said, fold the pages ahead of time. And if you can press them, it's a good idea. Um, you want these pages to be nice and snug inside each other. And I've got, I think, five sheets of the sulfite. There we are. I just want to see what it looks like on the inside. Five sheets of the sulfite and five sh just different pieces of washi paper that was decorated and just kind of making a nice little journal. Now I'm going to put my little clamps back on because I don't want them to um, come apart. I want everything to kind of stay together while I'm doing this one, this piece here. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to. Um, poke holes, the five holes in this, and I'm going to do it kind of like this. I'm just going to hang, leave it on the table, and I'm going to poke a hole in the center first, going in the center of my of my book, and it doesn't have to be perfectly center. I could see it's awful little, but that's okay. So I'm going to poke one, and then I'm going to poke a second one on the farthest outside, okay, like that, and then I'm going to poke another one on the other outside part, and I'm going to poke two more in between those. So I've got five holes that I have just made. Okay, so there they are. Now I'm going to take my book cover and I'm going to just put that on over that and I'm going to reclamp this so that I can, so I don't lose, there we go, so I don't lose the placement of it. Just kind of reclamping it. And then if I need to adjust, this is the time to do it right now. Okay. I'm going to try to get it as close as I can to the center of that. I'm going to just really open that, put that back together, really kind of get that in. And I'm going to use the same holes that I had used before. I'm just going to clamp that back like this. And now I'm going to go back in the same holes. I'm going to go on outside, making a nice big hole so that I can see when I'm stitching. You're going to be five holes. It's much easier to do the text or the signature first and then do the cover. So now I've got the five holes and now I'm ready to stitch. So this is waxed linen thread and I want my string to be on the outside. So I'm going to start the stitching on the outside. And I'm going to just take the center, the one that's in the sort of center. It's not quite centered, but it's all right. And I'm just going to poke it through. And this is a dull kind of a tapestry uh, needle, I believe. It doesn't have a sharp, sharp point, which is nice because then you don't create new holes. And I'm going to go ahead and leave a little tail, but I see I have two. Here we go. 
leave a little tail like about enough so that I can tie it off at the end. And I'm going to hold on to that tail and I'm just going to stitch, go put my needle in the second hole and I got to put it through and then make sure it's kind of snug and I'm going to put the needle down through the next hole. Just got to find, there we go. And here we have it. And I'm going to take the next hole is going to be right here. I'm just going to go right into this one and I'm going to go like that. It's kind of intuitive what you how you would do this. It's like really no right or wrong way, I don't think. This is the way I'm going to do it. So I'm going to crit, I'm going to crisscross over. I'm not going to go into this one because I want to finish off with that. So I'm going to go into the hole over this one. I'm just going to go over that. And sometimes it's hard to find the... There we go. And I'm going to go into the next hole. You want to make sure your threads are nice and snug and they're not tangled up. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to go into this next one here like this. And then to finish, pull that extra. I've got probably too much thread here, but that's okay. I can cut that off. Now the next piece, the last one, I'm going to go into the first hole, I, uh, the very first hole, and I want my string to come up on the opposite side. If you can see that, this thread's on this side, this second one's going to be on the opposite side. And I'm just going to pull that through, get that excess off, and I'm going to pull it nice and snug. Not too, if you pull too tight, you may, you don't want to you know, risk tearing your signatures, but I'm going to go ahead and snip that extra thread off. And now that I have the thread on, the, the two threads are, the, the main thread is in between this, and all I need to do is tie it off. Simple, a simple knot. You can do two knots if you feel it would be better. There you go. Two knots, and I'm just going to cut that off. And now my book is put together. So this is this is feeling nice and nice. it feels really good in my hand but you notice it does stick up. Now there's a way to resolve that. You can if you press it you know overnight you could use a bone folder and I didn't use a bone folder which I should have used a folding tool but you could like kind of bring these uh, folds down if you want to but anyway I'm gonna stick with it the way it is it's fine. Now here's the next step. This is the fun part. So I'm going to take the piece that I made at the on the live. It's just that lace paper with two fused pieces of washi uh, that have been fused with some string in between and had poked holes in it. Now what I want to do is actually I forgot to tell you this. Um, whoops! There's a there's a uh, magnet I've already done. This is something I prepared ahead of time. But I made a little sort of a rounded belt here. There's a magnet underneath that I had glued on and then put some uh, washi, thin washi paper over it. And then I have a second magnet. This is the one that will be sticking to the book, but I'm just having it here for now. And what I need to do before I attach this piece, I'm going to attach it the, uh, to the back. And I don't need a lot of room. I just want it to be kind of centered. So I'm going to cut off some of that excess. I don't need that. And then what I'm going to do is kind of just like find the center like that. And I'm going to put some white glue onto this back of this. I want to put a generous amount of glue because it's going to, you know, going to use, it's going to get a lot of uh, work or a lot of manipulation back and forth. I want to leave a little room so I've got it sticking out kind of a little bit and now it's on there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do anything yet until I attach this part. Okay, so I'm going to look at my little book. Make sure it's, yep, that's the way I want it. Okay, so I've attached that and now I'm going to do the same. I'm going to find, I'm going to attach this, but I have to decide which side I want to show. And this is the one I think right here. Okay, so now I just need to put glue all over this. And I'm going to do it on the areas where the openings where there's no opening. So just taking the white glue 
you can use Elmer's glue. I'm just using this art glitter glue. Elmer's glue works just fine. Okay. Now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to put it on to my cover. I've already folded it in advance so I have kind of a heads up memory already. I'm just going to try to center it as best I can. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to bring that down just a little bit more. And I feel the glue on my fingers. <laughs> That's okay. All right, there we go. I like that. And now what I'm going to do is I see, you can see it's over that belt or this little closure. And I'm just going to go ahead and get that glue nice and uh, on. Get it so that it really sticks. And then I'm going to wait for that to dry and then I'll come back. Now that the glue has dried, I'm going to take this little magnet. It's kind of sticking on this. And I'm going to put a little cement on the magnet like this. Just enough to just to kind of give it a, so that it will stick. This is some E6000. I'm using that. And I'm just going to put it right here like that. And I'm going to have to leave that sit until it dries. So now that that has kind of dried, it's not 100% dried, but it's now able to use it as a closure. But I'm going to still put uh, something on to cover that up. And I've got a piece of Usagami that I had colored with some paint. And I'm just going to put that over. I'm going to take the glue and just glue that on top just to kind of make it look better. Plus, I think it just helps to, it just helps it a little bit, um, makes it less, just kind of covers that up basically. Covers up that metal. <laughs> but it still should work and I'm going to test it right now but I've got it really on there. And it should just snap on, which it does. Good. And now, so I've got the hidden closure, hidden magnet. Oops, it's not, it's not holding. <laughs> Oops, there it is. So there, there is the book. So you can have, um, enjoy making this little cute little pocket size book. And the final pages are um, just enough to make little notes. And it's really cute. Here we go, the front. And, uh, all these wonderful little pages that have texture. You can make lists on here. You can journal in it. You can watercolor in it if you want. Um, most likely this will be just a journal for me. But anyway, there it is. I hope you enjoyed making this little washi paper and watercolor paper journal. <laughs>